Welcome to Oersted's Discovery. So when you're studying electricity and magnetism in your introductory physics, you're going to run into Oersted's principle, which he has discovered that basically a magnetic field is formed when a current starts to flow through a wire. So we know that if you take a magnet, and I can put up a link up above there, so if you have just a regular it's kind of stationary magnet, then you know that there's a magnetic field which forms around it. So we can draw out and we can visualize those magnetic fields within. But what is very interesting is that if you now take, and this is the combination, and that's why we call it electromagnetism, so the study of both electricity and magnetism combined, and if you're taking an actual current which is flowing, so if you have electrons flowing through a wire, you will notice that if you start to measure, so if you would take a compass, for example, now if that compass, of course, is sensitive enough, it will start to um, basically change around where a current is flowing through a wire. Now, I'm going to assume that we're going to take the convention where you're using your kind of right hand. Now I'm reflected in this here, okay? So you, you, you see my right hand being raised up. And, you know, the pointing of a, of a thumb, okay, is going to be in the direction of the wire. So if you notice within here, I have a wire, which is the brown wire, which is kind of crossing through. It goes in through a, a you know, almost like a plane, and then it goes upwards. And what happens is notice so my fingers are going to be rolling around. So they start to roll around. And, and, you know, this is called kind of the right hand rule when you want to be able to see where the magnetic field is going to be pointing. Now, it's basically circular, OK, all the way around as you're going through. So there's this particular wire. So as it's going through, it's going in this direction. And I put in the compasses all the way around there. Now, the principle is very simple. So I kind of steal this principle. I also put up the references down below from the text of Nelson uh, from Physics 11. And it states that whenever a charge uh, moves through a straight conductor, a circular magnetic field is created around it. So that's all that Orsted's principle states. And that's something that you should be aware of. And it's the interconnection now of electricity and magnetism. So when you have an actual uh, electrons flowing through. So when you have a current, you will be creating a magnetic field around it. Now, it will also turn out that the opposite is true. So you can move a magnet and you are going to induce actually current flow. So that's going to be part of a different video. But within here, so Orostat's principle is purely about charges moving in a straight conductor and then noticing that you have magnetic fields that form around it. So that's what the idea is. Now, as you can see here on the diagram, so I'm going to try to do my best in here. So what's going to happen is if the actual wire, so if the wire, okay, and your current is flowing in this direction, we're assuming conventional current, right? So, you know, conventional current is electrons actually flow in the opposite direction. But we will assume that it's the conventional current, which is kind of the positive charges flowing through. And there, you know, we can use the right hand okay, in order to point in the direction. So if the current is flowing in this direction, so all the way around here, so what's going to happen is that you're going to create a magnetic field all the way around, and it's going to create these circular okay, passes. So if you could. So for instance, down below here, so if you have, you know, your current is now coming, you know, out of the page, right? So as you can see there, so as it's pointing through, so, you know, this basically, you know, so it's coming out of the page, so it's coming out towards us. So this is the symbol that we use when we have a current flow. It's kind of like an arrow. Um, so you would see the tip of the arrow, which is coming out of the page. Here is when the current is flowing into the page. So, you know, we, it's kind of like the, the cross. Okay, you would see the back of the arrow. So this is into the page and this is out of the page. So what that would mean is you would have circular paths formed around this particular wire. So I'm going to kind of duplicate just so that you can see this. And what will happen is you're going to have circular kind of rings forming around. Let me change and remove that fill so that you can see that. And, you know, so this is going to get extended 
right? So you can now make this also a little bit, okay, so further, so these rings keep going all the way around. Now, as you are doing this, okay, so it's gonna make it even bigger. So the field, now there is a direction to the magnetic field, so as you know, um, and this is where the right hand is useful, okay, to do. Now, you know, this, my thumb here is pointing into the page, right, so this would go around in this direction, so it would go in this direction, okay, if it's pointing into the page, then what you would have, and you can test it with the right hand, you will notice that this is going to be in this direction, okay, so all the way around in here. That's how the magnetic field is going to form. And the closer that you are, so the closer to the wire that you are, then the stronger that magnetic field, and then the further that you are, the less, okay, of that magnetic field that you have. And typically we'll designate this out, and you know, these rings are gonna get, you know, further and further apart in terms of density, um, so within here, so you have a, a less of a magnetic field. But the flow is in this direction and you're using your right hand in order to designate that. So wherever the wire is flowing, right, so if it's if the current is flowing in this direction, you know, then you can round your fingers, which they show you the direction around, the circular direction, okay? If it's flowing in this direction, you know, you can then wrap your fingers around, and you can try that with your right hand. So that what that means is, for instance, if you take this, which is going to be into the page, so as you're going through that, so if I would draw this, I can certainly take now all of these rings that I have in here, I'm gonna kind of duplicate them back in, I'll just draw one of them, you can certainly do quite a lot of them, and what this means is that now the direction is going to be in this direction, right, so it's going to be flowing in this direction, and again, you can take, so for instance, notice right here, so I have my right hand, it's pointing into the, well, into the screen, so in this direction, and my fingers, notice they're rolling around. And this is exactly what you're seeing right here, right? So this is rolling around, okay, in this direction. That's the way that the magnetic field will form. Now, that magnetic field is everywhere, right? So it's, it's all over, but it's circular around everywhere, like this, all the way through. And it, in magnitude, you know, as you move further away is less and less, and you can probably imagine that. It's the same thing that happens with magnets, right? So the closer you are to them, the stronger the magnetic field. The further you are from them, okay, then the magnetic field is reduced, okay, in magnitude. And the same thing happens in here. But the wonderful thing from Orsted's principle is that this is induced by charges that are moving. So the charges themselves create this phenomenon that we see, and if you would have a compass, right, so like I have right here, you know, if you would have a compass, if there is no current flowing, then the compass would just show north, right? So basically all of these would just line up with north. But as soon as you allow a current to flow, they would now realign because the magnetic field, which is closer to the wire, is, you know, is stronger, and therefore they would now realign like you see what within here, where you know now it's realigning and it's showing us this circular path as you're going along um, within there. So the magnets would do that. And if you'd sp sprinkle around the magnet, um, for instance, you know, the iron kind of you know little pebbles as you're going through then those iron skate are going to start to line up, okay? depending, of course, how strong that magnetic field is. So that is Orsted's principle. So this is much more qualitative, and the idea is now you should practice the right-hand rule. So remember, your thumb is pointing in the direction of the conventional current, and the rolling of your hand tells you where the magnetic field is pointing around a wire. That's what it shows. If actually you want to go on the opposite side, you wanna use the left hand. Now the left hand would actually now point in the direction of the electrons flowing, so it's the opposite of that, right? But notice that both of them point in the magnetic field. So notice that you know if this is going this direction, so that is the conventional current with the right hand, with the left hand, it goes in the, so left hand uses the thumb in the direction of the electrons, and then it also flows. So notice that they're both circling around the wire, 
right? So they're both in the same direction. So right hand rule, conventional current, and your curl is with respect to how your magnetic field, the direction of that is, it's circular around. Left hand rule in the direction of the electrons. And again, it still circles around the wire. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Bye everybody.